The Ottawa Senators are extremely pleased to select from the Boston U Terriers, Brady Kachuk. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore for live to updates of the games and, of course, breaking news. Now, before we get this video started, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, SeatGeek, for sponsoring tonight's video. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets. They rate the tickets between 0 and the 10 score, with 0 being bad and 10 being good. Another algorithm they use is they have green, orange, and red dots all over the event uh, venue map. So if you see a red dot in the 300 section, it means it's overpriced and avoid that. But if you see a green dot in the 100 section, like a front row seat, it means it's uh, cheaper than fair uh, market value and you're getting a good discount. Uh, speaking of discounts, use my promo code SENSTALK to save $20 off your first purchase. You save even more money off the money you're already saving because it's a great algorithm and you get to go to a game or a uh, concert, etc. So SENSTALK's the code. Save $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek.com or on the ticket app on um, the App Store. And let's get into tonight's recap between the Ottawa Sanders and the Dallas Stars. Before we uh, continue in the game recap, I want to give a, a quick reminder that after every single Sense game, we tweet out a poll for you, the fans, to vote in for the Sense Talk Star of the Night. So stay tuned after the game uh, to vote in it and watch until the end of our video to see the results. Um, besides that, let's get into the game recap. So firstly, today there was some really very important news. So last night, I touched on it in the Chris Wyman reaction video uh, for when he was traded to Edmonton, um, that... The Sanders uh, Capital Sports Management Group and Trinity Development Group, John, uh, uh, led by John Rudy, uh, were not in agreement um, on some important uh, ideas for the development plan for uh, Liberton Flats, which the Rendezvous Group. And today, Eugene Melnick took it a step further. Uh, he's suing Trinity Development Group and John Rudy for $700 million for um, conflict of interest, because apparently across the street, uh, they were developing some land and... Uh, Melnick thought that uh, allegedly thought that he was going to make money off of the money that Melnick's putting in. By the way, Melnick thought he can he didn't want to spend a single penny on this contract. Um, Eugene Melnick thought he can he can get this arena for zero dollars. Like he thought he could he would have to pay a dollar for this, which is awfully wrong. So, firstly, very important thing out of this, the, um, this opens the door for Devcor or another group to take over the NCHC bid for Le Breton Flats which effectively cancels out the Sanders bid um, in the likelihood that the Sanders can reach agreement with um, the with, uh, Trin uh, Trinity group. Now, there's always a possibility the Sanders can, um, you know, get another group, but with the, with the public um, appearance that Melnick has in the nation's capital, I don't see that happening, um, or it's very unlikely to happen anyways. Um, you know, we'll have to see, you know, it's it's... It's it's a it's a big dent into the hopes for the Sanders fans and the Sanders organization in general uh, to have a downtown arena, and um, you know I don't I'm not too worried about the stability of the franchise and whether it'll move or not. I don't think the Sanders will move out of Ottawa, but now that the clock is ticking on whether or not Eugene Melnick will sell soon or not soon. Um, he's a very stubborn guy. This lawsuit is absolutely insane, uh, ludicrous. Um, you know. I don't think he's going to win this case whatsoever. But if he does, he has money all of for a development plan. So maybe that's his thinking. I don't know. Melnick's just really, really dumb. And um, you know, you gotta, if you're a sense fan, you got to worry now. Because I don't think the team's going to move. I don't think the NHL will allow the team to move. They won't vote on that. But there's no um, for sure plan now. The Sanders are going to get a downtown arena, which is vital for the franchise moving forward. And... Um, Nothing's gonna get better until Melnick leaves, and that's this this factual at this point. Uh, you don't, you can't disagree with that assessment. Um, I'll have to see what happens, but very disappointed, um, nervous, and uh, really just exhausted with all this BS that Melnick does. And um, as as a hockey fan, as, as a Sense fan for many years, um, I don't think I've ever seen this much of a fiasco uh, ever since like the Expos in their last few years um, with. Um, a, you know, with their owner when they moved to Florida. Um, but I don't think the Sanders will move. Um, but the Sanders hopes um, they're not getting an arena in downtown Ottawa with Eugene Melnick, most likely. So the Sanders' last hope would be them, him to sell, 
which eventually he will do, in my opinion, and Sanders will be able to reset, move downtown, and just forget about the, the, the era of Eugene Melnick. But um, not much more to talk about that except the fact that Eugene Melnick is not only screwing over the Sens fans, he's screwing, screwing over the whole city of Ottawa. So that's, that's something to be interested about, and I'll keep you guys updated throughout the season on that fiasco. Let's get into the hockey game. So Ben Harper is in as Chris Wyman was traded. His first game back in 13 games. Senators have won five straight games versus the Dallas Stars. Starting goaltenders was Anton Kudoman for the Dallas Stars and Craig Anderson for the Ottawa Senators. Big, big, big performance offensively for the Dallas Stars. We'll get to that in a second. First period to go. Three minutes in. Ryan Dezingle pots one in. It's one. Nothing. Ottawa. Beautiful play here from Bobby Ryan. Shabbat gets a secondary assist. Dezingle's 10th of the year. It's a one nothing Sens lead. But seven minutes later, Jamie Benn. He ties it up. Awful with defensive coverage. No chance for Anderson. It's a 1-1 tie. Sagan and Radulov draw the assist on this goal. We head to the second period. Sanders getting some generation, uh, gen- generating some chances on the power play again. Ninth best in the league. Shabbat from the point. And Brady Kachuk in front of the net doing his, t- his thing. Tenacious B. And he pokes, 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 and boom! Brady Kachuk to Sanders. Take the lead on his seventh of the year. And Shabbat now leads the defenseman in scoring with 27. And uh, Sanders take the 2-1 lead now. Bobby Ryan got the secondary assist, and the Sanders are up by one. It's two to one, but hold your horses. Two minutes later, Heiskin in from the point, deflects off Stone Stick and pass Anderson. It's a 2 2 game. And then six minutes later, Fedun hit, of course, his first career National Hockey League goal. It's a 3 2 lead, and this. And the Sanders are just not giving Craig Anderson a chance whatsoever. This goal. Firstly, this was Ben Harper's fault because Ben Harper got deked the hell out of uh, by Fidun, uh, or was it uh, hence short? It doesn't matter. Ben Harper did not play the body. He got deked the hell. His jock strap was in the stands, and he tried to play a last minute check. He didn't, and um, Fidun roofed it past Anderson. We head to the third period now. Heiskin in. It's 4 2 from the point. And then the Sanders the defense collapsed. Komu's left all alone. On Anderson, and he beats him five hole. And it looks like a route now. It's five two, but do never, never count out the Ottawa Sanders. It's five two, but Max is draw four minutes later from the point. Roofs it past Kudobin. What a shot! A wrister bar. Well, not bar in, but a beautiful corner shot. Five three now. The draw six of the year from Maddie Duchesne, and the Sanders are trying to come back. Two minutes later, Zach Smith, a beautiful pass from Bobby Ryan. It's six to four, five to four, and the Sanders are down by one. Zach Smith, fourth goal of the year. Ryan's third assist of the game. Duchesne back to back goals, uh, back to back goals for the Sanders, assisted by Duchesne. Sanders are down by one, and they're starting to get some momentum. Until Bayreuther, another first career National Hockey League goal into the empty net, and that seals the deal. The Ottawa Sanders lose six to four to the Dallas Stars. Mark Stone injured his face. They did not did not return to this game after coming back to the bench. He left after the fifth goal. Um, hopefully we'll, he'll be okay. I think he'll be okay, but we'll see. Um, but the Sanders lose the arena deal, and the Sanders lose uh, the game. They lose six to four. They're now nine eleven and three on the season. The Sanders have allowed a hundred goals in twenty three games. They repeat one hundred goals. One zero zero in twenty three games. That is. Um, if you don't know hockey, that's about four goals per game, a little bit more than four goals per game. And um, that's not good. That's expansion level type of defense. This is awful. The worst defense I've seen in my life. And let's talk about the defense. 54 shots and goal for the Dallas Stars tonight. 48 saves for Craig Anderson. Um, how do you expect a 37-year-old goalie who's uh, playing every night? He's had one. He hasn't started one game, and he ended up playing that game. Um Oh, he didn't. But um, he's playing ba- practically every game or every game and hasn't played one, maybe, I guess. And um, it's 37. How do you expect him to face 40, 50 shots a game and expect him not to, you know, to pass out eventually? Um, I, I don't know what to say. I, the, the coaching staff's not going anywhere because Melnick's cheap and uh, the Sanders organization's um, very um, cowardly. Um, you know, they're not gonna, they're not going to fire anyone. Um, but... Honestly, uh, you got to get some type of goalie. You got to get like a Charlie Lindgren, Calvin Pickard, any anything that can stop the puck to give Anderson some breaks. Because Anderson's gonna, this is killing Anderson. Like not ob- obviously not realistically, but 
Um, he's exhausted. You could tell just the way he's he's positioned. He's exhausted. It's only 23 games in. There's another about 60 games to go, 59 to be exact. And um, it's not fair. It's not fair for Craig Anderson. And they need another goalie. Mike McKenna's not a starter. He's not a backup in the NHL. He's not an NHL caliber goalie. And I really hope they can find a goalie to back up Anderson and give him some break because right now, the route they're, they're, they're in, Colorado is for sure getting the first overall pick, or at least a top five pick. Uh, shot to goal, 54, which is um, pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Like, if you... That's... It doesn't happen often. And the Sanders have allowed 40-plus shots nearly every night this season. They had took 33 shots in goal, though. Team stats, face-offs, 33-42 Dallas. Power plays, Dallas was shut out, 0 for 3. Ottawa went 1 for 2. Hits for 2017, shots 54-33. Uh, Third star of the game, Taylor fed in with his first career National Hockey League goal. The second star, Devin Shore, two assists. And the first star, Miro Heiskin, in the, for- the former third overall pick, two goals on the night. Um... You know, Craig Anderson, he had a 9 0 6 save percentage, 48 saves on 53 shots. And I can't, the empty net goal doesn't count for shots on him. Um, I can't I can't blame Anderson. He's he's the reason the Sanders are still in it. They're four or five points out of a wild card spot. And really, nothing's going right for the Sanders. They don't have an arena deal in sight. They don't have a defense. And they have a 37 year old goalie who's getting outshot badly. So. Uh, we'll see what happens Monday when the Sanders take on Freddie Clayson, Mika Zibanejad, and the New York Rangers in New York on Monday, November 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And um, besides that, uh, go Red Blacks. Uh, hopefully they'll win the Grey Cup as it happens on Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time when they take on the Calgary St. Peters. But besides that, let's get into the Sense Talk Star of the Night, voted by you, the fans. So the results are as follows for the Sense Talk Star of the Night. In fourth place, with 12% of the vote, Brady Kachuk had a goal tonight, and he's always in the faces of the other team's players. He's such a character guy. Um, a shine, a light, a bright light on a very dark time for Sanders fans, and hopefully he'll continue his fantastic start. He scored 58% of his games he's played this year, seven goals in about 10 to 11 games. Um, second, third star of the game, 60% of the vote, Thomas Shabbat, two assists tonight. You know, dynamic defenseman on the point, has 27 points, leading defenseman in points, and um, already passed in 40 less games than last year. He's already passed his point total in 23 games. So let's see if we can continue it. He's the third star. Second star, 32 Two percent of the vote for the seventh time as a National Hockey League career. Bobby Ryan three assists tonight. He has the flu, and he left the ice a couple of times because he's experiencing flu symptoms. But three point night, hell of a night for Bobby Ryan. He's the third, the second star. First star of the night, thirty eight save. Um, sorry, forty eight saves on fifty three shots. Craig Anderson, single handed reason why we didn't get lose by like eight or nine. So Craig Anderson once again. Um, maybe his, I'm, his save percentage might have risen over 900 uh, eight, uh, today. I don't know. But what I do know is he's the same kind of reason why we were in this game. Um, he's playing his ass off, and uh, hopefully he can keep it going. Uh, but besides that, the Sanders lose 6-4. to four. They're now 9-11-3 on the season. I'll see you Monday night when the Sanders take on the Rangers at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Besides that, thank you for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore. For live updates of the games and, of course, breaking news. Please like us on Facebook at SenseTalk. Add us to circles on Google Plus SenseTalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video. Share this video for sure cool stuff. Please, please, please check out our website, SenseTalkCenter.com. We update that every single day. And, of course, check out SeatGeek.com or download the app and use our promo code SenseTalk to save $20 off your first purchase. Besides that, final score 6-4, 9-11-3 on the season. I'll see you Monday when the Sens take on Freddie Clayson and the New York Rangers. I'll see you then. Good luck, Red Blacks. Go Sens go.